guys going out to do some quick herping um, kind of rained a bit last night so there should be a decent amount of activity all right down at the creek now hoping I don't drop the camera in the water hopefully find something pretty soon. So I was hoping I would be able to get through this like tunnel area here. There's a pretty good sized body of water um, over through it, but if you look here, that's not happening anytime soon with these shoes on. It's like probably half a foot, foot deep. But yeah, I guess I'll have to go somewhere else cool little mossy log here mossy trees too the cool little mushroom thingies climbing up this tree away before I could get any actual video of it but saw my first reptile or amphibian of the trip a little frog jumped in here probably a green frog they're the most common but maybe a leopard or a baby bullfrog lots of these little flowers all through here I think they're called blood roots um, but yeah, they're a sp early spring flower and they're all over the place. I'm not sure what exactly, uh, like what kind of plants these are, but they're all over the place. I'm really curious, gotta get some pictures and maybe I'll be able to identify them. A few more frogs jumped in here. Once again, wasn't able to actually see them, just saw their splashes, but you can see over there um, the clouded water from where they were. Oh, snail. Cool. Oh my gosh, guys, found it. First like good herp sighting and catching, so let me show you. This thing is giant. Eastern spotted salamander. Pretty cool. Look how huge he is though. This is the biggest one I've ever caught or seen. Just found him chilling out under this log here. Wow. That can hurt. This is a really good outing. This is a marbled salamander. They're pretty cool little critters. Found them under another log, um, but yeah, they're really active out after this rain. This one's a little, a medium sized one. I found some pretty large ones, but this guy's pretty mid sized. Herp, wow. It's a slimy salamander, super, super swift. It's got, he just gunked all over my hands. He is, he is super fast. Had to move really quick to catch him. Look at that. Come on out, buddy. He's a little camera shy. There he is. They're really fast. And they'll uh, cover your hands with gunk. It's super sticky. It'll turn black and stay on your hands forever. Look at him, though. He's so funny. But yeah, this is my third herp. Yeah, third herp. Bye bye, little guy. Look at that. Hands are covered with it. It's white like this, and then it turns black as uh, you get dirt and whatnot on it. Pretty gross, but definitely worth the catch. If you're ever looking for herps, look under logs like this out in woodlands. There's so many different salamanders. This one could quite possibly have something. It's like a perfect log for salamanders and whatnot. So yeah, I'm starting to lose count. I'll throw up a number here, but I think this is my fourth herp. Another slimy. This one's a big one though. I think it's the biggest slimy I've caught. There he is. Really big. Not as, not as fidgety as the other one was, but it's a big salamander. They're all over the place out right now. So, just gonna put him back under his log here, and goodbye. These tree things are so much fun. Uh, they're like falling down trees, they've ripped out a big section of the earth. I'm gonna go along here and run on the trees and stuff. But, let's see, got a couple logs over there, and then I'm gonna head up towards a pond back there and see if there's any else. So far it's just some salamanders, I'm hoping I can find some snakes or toads, because those are kind of my favorite critters. Another herp, another one of these slimies. This one's pretty much mid-sized. 
but I found three of them so far. That's pretty cool. I just actually found it right at the foot of this tree that I was just uh, filming that little section on. But anyway, yeah, nice little slime salamander. Let's put him back in here. Hop in, buddy. Spring beauties I found out here. Usually they don't come, to, come up to a little later, but they're up. Pretty cool. Also some violets. Which, yeah, it's pretty early for them too. It's only March. Some kind of critter hole here. Maybe woodchuck, um, ground squirrel, something. And we have yet another slimy. These are by far the most common salamander out here. Or creature overall. But yeah, here he is. Dunking all over me. Bad boy. Irises are starting to come up. Wild irises, pretty cool. This field is covered in this green grass. Looks really cool. Um, just gonna walk over, travel that way. There's a pond up there. I'm gonna see if I can find anything out there. All right, finally something other than slimy salamanders. Got my first frog. This is a tiny little frog. It's called a northern cricket frog. So, I'll show you that. All right, he's gonna jump pretty much as soon as I open my hand. He's super jumpy. There he is. Little tiny tree frog. But anyway, gonna let him go. All right, here, buddy. Point. There he went. Look at all of these dandelions. Just like yellow pockmark here really windy so the audio is probably really bad but sorry about that so anyway guys I just hit the jackpot look at all of these logs it's gonna take a lot of lifting but I'm hoping I can find something under these there's tons all over here um, I'm getting kind of winded it's like a full-on workout all right well no luck with these logs I'm surprised I figured there'd be something under here probably a slimy salamander but oh almost to the pond sorry I said I was gonna get there like 30 minutes ago, I mean, not for you, but I was gonna go over there, but got sidetracked with all these logs and salamanders, so. And you know what, there's a good chance I probably won't even find anything at this pond anyway, so, whatever. Little tangle of fallen trees. That's kind of dangerous. Smack it on the head. Yeah, pretty cool. Turkey over there, you can hardly see it now, but wild turkey. I hardly see anything in that shot, but uh, wild turkey just flew out here, hanging out in the trees. Didn't like me. Bunch of mice in here. There he is. Little house mouse. Hanging out under this big old metal thing. Maybe that's a, a wood mouse or field mouse. Little tiny thing. But I did find a little salamander. This one's a marbled salamander. I don't want to hurt him, but it's kind of wedged in here. There he is. Finally, a different species than the slimies. There he is, kind of covered in dirt. Poor little guy. We'll put him back in here in a second. But yeah, another salamander. Are finally at the pond. Finally, <laughs> a lot of sidetracking. Um, yeah, hopefully we can find some critters out here. See them very well, just a bunch of little rivulets, but those are all minnows. A whole ton of them throughout this area here. A bunch of frogs keep jumping in along this, the edges of this pond here. A little croak. Let's see if I can roust up any. So you can hear them like squeak and hop in here. Tons of minnows all throughout here. I saw a bigger fish splash out there. Here. Nothing there. It's like an old moonshiner cabin or something. Tons of 
beer bottles and the litter. The daffodils out here, all flowering. It's starting to dry up though. Hardly see anything in here probably. It's pretty dark, but tons of litter, shotgun shells. And other stuff. Some rodent just popped out over here. I guess it's time to turn back. This is a really eventful um, trip. Uh, saw a lot of different things out here. I haven't really seen much up around our house. This is about a mile, half mile out away from the house, so there's a lot more stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna head back up. And um, unless I see anything else, thank you guys so much for watching this video and um, we'll see you next time. Well, I guess that wasn't the end of the video. Just found the largest marbled salamander of the trip and probably the largest marbled salamander I've ever seen. Getting a large, lot of largest, so yeah. There you go. Little camera shy too. Alright, well, didn't see anything else other than that marbled salamander, so I guess this is the final buy. Peace.